please. Before we begin with the taking the oath of office, we have with us today Chief Justice John Minton of the Kentucky Supreme Court, and I have asked him to begin these proceedings by offering prayer. Chief. Thank you, Let us pray. Oh, oh God, we give you thanks for this day, for this occasion, for this, this sacred place for those of us who engage in public service. We thank you for the blessings of our life and in particular the opportunities that you have given to those of us to serve you and serve the people of Kentucky. We pray a special blessing on Michelin and all those who work with her. We pray that all of us would remember the admonition of the prophet to, to do justice, and to love mercy, and, and never take ourselves too seriously. We ask you to be with all who are in this room today, and especially bless those who today take the oath of office and begin upon public service. These things we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Again, I would like to thank Chief Justice Benton for coming down today. His schedule is pretty onerous, especially when he starts dealing with the legislature and all those financial issues. But thank you for coming down today, John. John has served as a circuit judge, court of appeals judge, and now on the Supreme Court. He knows the court system better than he has. The one thing that One thing that is a distraction for him, he's a good friend of Greg Hill's. Where's Greg? He's not here. Imagine that. <laughs> but being a circuit judge, there's two things, at least two things, that I enjoy doing. One of them, of course, is presiding over adoption cases. Well, since we have a family court now, Judge McCann does the adoptions and the second thing is swearing are these swearing in ceremonies where we give the oath of office especially to new newly elected officials because this is the first time that they will take the oath of office for for the first time so we want to welcome them for that it's also a bittersweet time for us and especially for Gaynell because she's on her way out, so to speak. But congratulations to you, Gaynell, and thank you for your 19 years of service as circuit clerk for all of us here. <laughs> that would be the bitter part, I think, for you. The sweet part would be seeing your daughter take the oath of office today. I can't think of anything that would pardon me, make a mother more proud than that. Because we in the court system see a lot of kids come through here and they haven't made their mothers proud. That's one of the things that we don't like. I don't like about this job. I can't speak for anyone else. Now for anyone who wants to take pictures, you can come this side, that side, get wherever you want to, family, friends, or whomever. You can get behind the bench, to my side, you just can't get on top of me. <laughs> now the oath of office will be given to, and of course, no official, elected official in Kentucky can legally enter into their duties unless and until they take the oath of office. All Lawyers in Kentucky take this oath of office. All elected officials from <coughs> dog catchers on up take this. I know we don't have dog catchers as elected <coughs> officials, but all elected officials are required to take it along with deputy clerks, deputy sheriffs, etc. And this is the infamous constitutional provision that contains within the oath the requirement that you have not fought a duel with deadly weapons or acted as a second. Everyone is familiar with that particular phrase. <coughs> Y'all will pardon me. 
this this season. The way that I look at that, though, is that you as officers, as public officials, have or are taking the oath that you will follow the rule of law and that you will not follow the rule of man. We are a nation of laws that govern our society. Some people forget that at times. So what we're going to do is have all of the officials come up and stand in front of the bench. <coughs> and I'll give you the constitutional oath first. And then we have to have a special oath for the school board members. We have three of them today, newly elected. Well, Mr. Raymond's not newly elected, I don't think. And then we'll do the oath for the circuit clerks. And then since this is Michelin's first time, I'll give her a separate oath. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all would come on up, the elected officials, please, right in front of the bench. <coughs> School board members also, and the clerks, deputy clerks, right here in front. solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky, so long as you continue as a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully execute to the best of your ability the office before said, according to law, and do you further solemnly swear or affirm that since the adoption of the present Constitution, you being a citizen of this state have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within the state or out of it, <coughs> nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have you acted as a second in carrying a challenge, nor aided or assisted any person by defending, so help God. I do. Okay. Now, the three school board members, would you all come right up here in front, please? <coughs> serve as a member of the Board of Education, and that you will not, while serving as a member of such board, become interested directly or indirectly in any contract with or claim against the board, and that you will not in any way influence the hiring or appointment of district employees except the hiring of the superintendent of schools or school board of attorney, so have you got. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now the deputy clerks, would y'all come on out, please? <coughs> okay. Raise your right hand to me, please. Do you swear or affirm that you will well and truly discharge the duties of the office of deputy Ohio Circuit Court clerk, according to the best of your skill and judgment, making the entries and records of all orders, judgments, decrees, opinions, and proceedings of the court? Carefully filing and preserving in your office all books and papers which come to your possession by <coughs> virtue of the office, and that you will not knowingly <coughs> or willingly commit any malfeasance of office, and will faithfully execute the duties of the office without favor, affection, or partiality. So help you God. Thank you. Thank you all. <coughs> Do 
upon this word and pray that you will truly well discharge the duties of the office so high so the clerk according to the best of your skill and judgment make the due entries and records of all orders judgments decrees opinions and proceedings of the court <coughs> and carefully buying and preserving in the office all books and papers which come to your possession by virtue of the office and that you will not know it very well that it now is in the office so have you got Thank you all for coming. Court's adjourned. <laughs>